ranked all the eyeshadow palettes that I've tried this year so far. And I also did a my favorites of the year so far in general from everything that I've tried. But I thought we would focus, but I thought we would do a video like this as well, specifically for Kiko Milano. I want to chat about the best things that this brand has launched this year so far. I feel like they have once again come out with so many good products and I just want to shine a little bit of light on them. And there's gonna be some overlap with my yearly favorites so far. But there are also some things here that I haven't talked about in my favorites videos just yet. So let's get into it. All right, the first collection that Kika Milano came out with this year was the Stellar Love collection. So it was kind of like Galactic Galaxy, very like Starry Night vibes, but it was also their Valentine's collection. There are a few things in this collection that I did like, but it wasn't my favorite of the year. Like, after that, it just got better and better and better. So what I did really love from this collection was the eyeshadow palette that I tried. So this is the Cosmic Gaze eyeshadow palette in 02 Under the Starry Sky. This is a beautiful six pen eyeshadow palette that has beautifully pigmented mattes. Like these two mattes are really, really nice. Then we have two kind of like toppery, like shimmery shades they are a little bit more dimensional and then we have this satin blue and this bone quality matte you can use in the inner corner or kind of like to blend down the edges of these shades over here what i really like about this palette is that it has six shades but it's still very versatile because these shades you can kind of like pull them in either direction this gray can become a little bit more purple it can get a little bit more blue so we have more colors then you actually think at first and then also this one can get a little bit more like neutral like a neutral brown but it can also come a little bit more burgundy depending on what shimmers you combine it with and if you combine it with this bone colored matte and i really like the pigment i really like the quality i really like the different textures that we have in here also the fact that the blue is more of a satin shade but you can like top it up with the shimmers makes it really interesting you can kind of like layer the eyeshadows i have done really beautiful looks with this i think this is a beautiful palette one of their best quality palettes that they have done that i've tried from them then one thing that i also really loved from this collection was the stella love cosmic shine highlighter and this is a beige highlighter that is kind of like marbled and it is very kind of natural and skin like it is very smooth very soft and it almost seems to have like not a lot of glow to it. it seems very like powdery but then when you apply it on the cheeks it is very much like this beige soft lit lit from within glow and it is like on the skin more of this see-through situation it's just very subtle but it looks very beautiful i feel like it's very flattering it doesn't emphasize texture really if you have to compare it with something it's kind of similar to the essence pure nude highlighter maybe but i like this one more than that one i feel like this did more for me it was more almost like a blurring soft focus formula i really really like this highlighter and then in this collection we also had a perfume this is the kika milano stella love moonlight spark eau de parfum and this is 30 milliliters this is a very cute bottle it has these little like charms here this is a very fresh sweet kind of like strong perfume it's not heavy but it has a lot of projection i really like it it is almost like a bit soapy in a way but it has something like fruit fresh sweet kind of like mixed together in a way that it doesn't feel like super obvious like some things like truly smell like soap i don't feel like that is the case with this one this one i would say if you don't like something that is really gonna like be smelled by other people then maybe don't get this one it is a stronger more sweet scent but it's not a, like a candy sweet scent it is more like on the fruity side i, I just i've really enjoyed wearing this i feel like kiko does the quite nice perfumes i have bought like four different perfumes from kiko and all of them have a very like different scent to them like they really mix it up with the scents and i have really enjoyed them like they are pretty affordable and i feel like they can really add to the vibe of a collection especially for me it just kind of brings me back to like valentine's like to february but in a nice way 
Like not on a rainy day, it's cold kind of way. But yeah, maybe you can still smell this in store. It's a little late now to do that. And I do feel like this is on sale right now. But of course, it's a little risky if you haven't smelled it before. Like buying, buying perfumes is a little risky. But I do think online it's on sale now. Then we had the Days in Bloom collection. This collection is one of my favorite collections Kika Milano has ever done. So many beautiful products, such good packaging. I really enjoyed that collection so much. And I feel like you guys were also pretty excited about this collection. So first thing that I really, really like from this collection that I've mentioned quite a few times already is the Luminous Cushion Blush. And I have shade 03 Elegant Pink here. This is my favorite shade, but I also have one other shade that is more peachy. So I really like the packaging of this. It is, of course, once again, a Charlotte Tilbury dupe, but I still really enjoy it. On the one hand, I am saying that I'm sick of Charlotte Tilbury dupes, and in a way I am, like I would love to see things in different packagings, but this one just works so well and I really like the shade of it and it just blended out well and I did really end up liking it. So yeah, it's a proof style applicator. I just really like this kind of like sunburned pinky shade that this has. It has a beautiful glow, it's just easy to use. I don't know, Kiko did end up convincing me. Like they did end up convincing me of another Charlotte Tilbury dupe. They just did a really good job with this and I feel like with my favorite brands, I can accept repetition a little more because I do want all types of products from my favorite brands. I do, I really love this one. Then we have the Days and Bloom 3-in-1 Silky All Over. I really like this formula. This is in 02 Rose Dreams. Very cute packaging. This is a kind of like a lighter rosy shade, a liquid blush without any shimmer. This has a very skin-like finish. I feel like this is such a flattering color. It's really easy to use. It's just, I don't like this on the lips, by the way. It says three in one. I would just say use this as a blush on the lips. It was super weird and sticky. I kind of wanted to forget about it. And I almost did, but like, don't buy it for the lips. But I just really love this color. I really like the way this looks and feels and works. And it just looks beautiful. Then we have the Days and Bloom Face and Body Stick Highlighter. I really love the formulas of Kika Milano in these cream sticks, the bronzers, the highlighters, the blushes, I love them all. And this one as well. This is a iridescent kind of like lilac -y shade, like it looks white, but then it shifts to an iridescent lilac on the face. It's really easy to apply, really easy to use. I do like using this one kind of like from the bullet, like taking a brush like this and then applying it on the face. I feel like this Especially if you have a cooler undertone, it can still look very natural. It's not like extremely purple. It's kind of more of a warm purplish pinkish glow. I think this is a really beautiful highlighter. I realized that I actually forgot one of the products that I put in my yearly favorites from the Days in Bloom collection. It was laying in front of me during the filming of this video. Totally forgot about it because it has such a similar packaging to the Pooh style blush. So I'm talking about it now. So it is the Kiko Milano Days and Bloom Volumizing Lip Shine. And I have shade 04 Modern Mauve. And this once again has very cute packaging. I really love this purpley shade. It is very sheer, it has a shimmer throughout it that makes it very 3D, but it's not chunky, it's not too glittery, it's not too much. It still looks very subtle. I'm just gonna put it on for you right now now like it just adds a little bit of this cool toned lilac -y glow it's a minty gloss like it is very similar to my lip color it's just very sheer and it's not sticky it's not thick and i just like how easy this is to throw on I just think this is very flattering a beautiful color i think this is a great lip gloss formula i Really like this one. Then we had the Bridgerton collection. I actually have so many products from the Bridgerton collection that I already mentioned that I'm gonna mention again because I thought this was a really great collection when it came to the packaging and the quality. So first up, I have here the Bridgerton blush duo. So this is the Bridgerton bouquet blush and highlighter duo. This is in 01. So this was the lightest one. It has a matte rosy blush and then it has a champagne highlighter. These are both very beautifully pigmented, very creamy, especially the highlighter is super creamy. I really love this duo. It looks really beautiful on the skin. It is very like flattering. It just applies and blends so easily. I felt like these were really beautiful powders. I've really enjoyed using this one. Then I have two of the quads that came out in this collection. This 
formula this eyeshadow formula actually really impressed me and i really like the looks that i did with this so here i have 02 ballroom bliss this is the first one that i bought and because i like this one so much i actually bought the other one so this is a little bit of a nudie color story but it has a pop of purple i really love the brown in this the mattes in these palettes are very beautifully pigmented very blendable i really like the formula of them the shimmers are very opaque very like pigmented they are not like crazy shiny but they are very impactful in a like very beautiful and flattering way it is a like very interesting formula but when once all applied on the eyes it just makes for such a beautiful look this is definitely my favorite of the two though but i am still gonna mention this one this is 03 romantic rhapsody this one has a little bit more pinky i don't know why but just when i apply the other one i just like it slightly more than this one but once again a very pigmented matte a very nice color story like you can go a little bit more rosy or you can like use this and make it a little bit more nude so you have kind of like two directions you can go with with four shades beautiful formula i have really liked these they are a little bit more on the expensive side like this collection was pretty expensive but i do like what they did with this then we have the ballroom shiny lipstick what were these exactly it doesn't it doesn't say but these were the ballroom shine lipsticks if i'm not mistaken i have shade 01 and shade 03. 01 is kind of like this light pinky nude shade well, not super light but it's a little bit on the rosy pinky lighter side and then we also have a 03 and this is kind of like more in the mauve direction it's also rosy but a little deeper i really like this formula it's very nicely pigmented not a full opaque pigment but kind of like semi sheer it's a beautiful glow it's a beautiful shine and beautiful shades and they feel very nice on lips very hydrating very comfortable it's not like super slippery i thought these were really beautiful lipsticks then something i was really impressed with with this collection was the bridgerton kika milano ballroom bling liquid eyeliner this is so glowy it is so shifty it is so shimmery i still have to use it as like an all-over liquid eyeshadow i think it would look good like this as well but this has a really like this blue to purple shift and it also has something a little bit like golden into it it's almost a little like a multi-chrome it's so pigmented it's so long wearing it looks so beautiful it's very impactful you don't have to go over it a lot like it's not sheer this is beautiful quality i was really impressed with this one this is a great eyeliner and then we also have these glasses as first at first when i tried this gloss i thought mm, i think you can get a gloss like this at kika milano like in other collections it's not that special like you don't need to pay the price of the bridgerton collection for this but i kept using and using and using this so i bought another one and i really like this formula it's not too thick not too thin not too sticky not too smeary it's really like that perfect in between formula it looks really nice and glossy on the lips i really like the shades that they have as well this one is my favorite still this is 02 and this is just like a warm pinky cream gloss but then we also have this shimmering one this red one this is 04 it's just very very dimensional with the red and then kind of like the champagne shimmer in there as well these glosses are beautiful. Then I almost forgot that I wanted to talk about the liquid eyeshadows as well. So these are the Gilded Glaze Shimmering Cream Eyeshadow from the Bridgerton Collection. These have impressed me so much. I have two shades. I use them as an eyeshadow base. I use them on their own. They are so beautifully peasy, sparkly without being too chunky. They're still looking very flattering and smooth. They are just beautiful shades. They look beautiful. They wear well. I have oily eyelids and these stay put on me. Like even if I don't use another eyeshadow base underneath me, like these look very good like for quite a lot of hours. Very dimensional, very sparkly very kind of like shifty especially the purple one i don't know where i put it here the purple one this is 03 this is a warmer purple to a cooler purple i think these are really cute and like they are a little bit more on the expensive side but i cannot deny that these are good quality all right that's gonna be it for the bridgerton collection let's move on to the gold reflections collection first up i want to talk about the sun kissed baked bronzer in 02 sienna this is such beautiful baked bronzer it is very centered though like every time i put this up to talk about it and hold it next to my face i'm like hit in the face with the scent it's very floral powdery so if you're very sensitive to scents maybe this is not for you but 
This is very skin-like, easy to blend, not too pigmented, a beautiful kind of like neutral cool tone shade. This for me is really like the ultimate summer bronzer whenever I wear this. I just feel like my skin looks so good. It bronzes up in such a natural skin-like way. It doesn't have any shimmer in it. This is just really, really easy to use. It's a little bit more on the expensive side, but you do get 20 grams of product, which is a lot. Then I also have to mention the Gold Reflections Gleaming Waves All Over Highlighter in 01 Magical Gold. This is such a beautiful beige LA highlighter. It is kind of like this peachy champagne. It looks beautiful with the wave pattern in the pen. I think it's absolutely magical. Like, it looks like the name suggests. This is so skin-like, so creamy, it blends in so effortlessly. It is such a beautiful formula. I love that we get another Beige LA highlighter from Kiko Mulatto in their summer collection. Last year we had the Little Mermaid collection with more of that almost like mauve highlighter. I think they also had another shade but I was too late with buying that. Later on I thought maybe I should have bought more because I love the formula so much but now I have this one and I really really love it it's gorgeous and then I think this might be my favorite Kiki Milano launch of this year for sure like is it it could be I love these blushes so much so I'm talking about the gold reflections fusion glow blush and these are baked blushes that are so skin like so creamy looking but they are powder blushes they are baked blushes but they look so good on the skin every time that i use this it's just the most beautiful ethereal glow most beautiful wash of color it looks so flattering i love the shades that we have this is 02 sunkiss coral it's a beautiful kind of like barbie pink i also have luminous mauve which is more of a cool toned mauve shade also really love that one i also have I also have the shade 01 Radiant Biscuit. I bought all shades because I love this so much. This is more of a bronzy, like mauve rosy, brownish shade. I use this more as kind of like a bronzer topper, kind of like bronzer, blush bronzer in one kind of product. I love these blushes so much. These are just amazing. Every time I wear them, I feel so beautiful. It's really like the type of product that elevates your entire look with just a sweep of a brush. It just happens suddenly, magically. You look at yourself in the mirror and you're like, I look so beautiful. And that is what I want makeup to do for me. I want just that extra spark. I'm just kind of looking for that X factor. Like that's the thing that I want in my makeup. That's what's gonna make something a favorite and I feel like these definitely have that. All right, I think that's gonna be everything for my Kika Milano favorites of the year so far. As always, this is just one of my favorite brands. I feel like they do makeup so well and I am very excited to see what else they do. Let me know what your Kika Milano favorites are for the year. Can be like recent launches, can be older launches as well. And thanks so much for watching. I will see you in my next one. Bye-bye.